All right, boys, another year of Madden franchise. We are back here on the new Madden 23. I'm hoping the franchise is different this year. I mean, I think it is a little bit, but here you go, Madden 23 franchise. I mean, you've seen the title of the video, so you know what team we are doing, but we're gonna load in with our new squad preseason week number one. Here they are, the Madden 23 franchise will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. There they are. TJ Watt, Cameron Hayward, Minka Fitzpatrick lead the Steelers out to battle this year. Mike Tomlin, still the head coach. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll be a coach this year. I usually do owner, but I'll do coach this season. And I'm just gonna have to change up some league settings. So I'll see you guys after I fix my league settings. But yes, the Pittsburgh Steelers are our Madden 23 franchise squad. Okay, so we are in the franchise mode. Here you go. Um, yeah. This is the new Madden 23 franchise layout. We're gonna look over the team, but real quick before I get started, folks, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Like, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a lot of Madden here on the channel. You're not gonna miss all the stuff we're gonna be doing on this game. We, you know, last year we did New York Giants franchise, and we posted that like every single day for like 120 straight days. We're gonna be posting the Steelers franchise often, pretty much every single day. We're gonna be doing an online franchise as well. And if you wanna join the online franchise, you can join the Discord down below. Join the Greal Place Discord, first link down in the description, and you can join our online franchise. It's Try to get 32 guys in there and make an online franchise. But let's go over the Steelers lineup here. We'll go player by player here um, with Pittsburgh. So, of course, the quarterback position is going to be interesting for the Steelers team because you got Mitchell Trubisky, you got Kenny Pickett, you got Mason Rudolph, and you got Chris as well, the man out of South Dakota State. I'm going to start Mitchell Trubisky to start the season, I think. Okay. I want to play with Pickett, but I don't think Madden, you know, they kind of did him dirty. He's got normal development. Kenny Pickett. Like, you might have to excuse me on this one, but I might make Kenny Pickett star or at least superstar i think it's ridiculous that the man is only normal development especially for a guy who's picked in the first round he's the best you know college football quarterback last year i think it's ridiculous and i think the city of pittsburgh is going to get behind kenny pickett of course being the former pittsburgh panther but i think it's ridiculous the 68 overall and the normal dev we'll see what we can do but to start the season i will be playing the former Chicago Bear, there he is, Mitchell Trubisky. So, and we have Mason Rudolph here as well, but I don't think Rudolph's gonna be doing much for our team. I know he is playing pretty well at camp, apparently. Um, our running back situation, pretty straightforward. Najee Harris, of course, the man out of Alabama. It is his second year now in the NFL. He was really good last year. Najee is the guy for us here in Pittsburgh. We have Benny Snell as the backup out of Kentucky. Then you got Anthony McFarland, and then you got Jeremy McNichols as well. At fullback, we got Derek Watt, of course, brother of TJ, and of course, brother of JJ. Um, our receiver, Kind of loaded. I mean, I wouldn't say loaded, but we've got some names. Of course, lost Juju Smith-Schuster in the offseason to the Kansas City Chiefs. We got Deontay Johnson. We've got Clay Chapel. We've got Anthony Miller. George Pickens is a 74 overall. He's looking all right in the preseason or pretty good in the preseason. Out of Georgia, he is a rookie. He'll likely be the third receiver on this team. I might look to move Anthony Miller or Anthony Miller. just he's not going to have as big of a role as in this team as, of course, George Pickens will. Miles Boykin is here as well. Calvin Austin, Steven Sims, Gunnar Olseski as well. The former New England Patriot and Cody White is here also at tight end we've got the man at penn state of course pat fryermuth we've got jay sternberger we've got zach gentry connor hayward and kevin raider and then at left tackle we'll be starting dan moore eh. left guard we're gonna have kevin dotson who's 73 overall mason coles our center at 68 uh, james daniels is solid really good 78 overall out of iowa and then we've got okafor 70 overall at right tackle yeah our line's not very good that's concerning. Um, on defense left end, we're gonna have Chris Wormley, but we'll also have Larry, and then we're gonna have DeMarvin, Le DeMarvin Leal as well at right end, one of our better players, probably our best player, Cameron Hayward. He is 33 years old now, but he's gonna have X-Factor, like Fearmonger. Um, yeah, he's the captain of the squad. Casey Hayward, of course, gonna be one of the big time players on this team. Doug Costin as well as here. We got, we got a D-tackle, age overall Tyson out of Cal. It's gonna be his 13th year in the pros. Um, we've got Adams and we've got Carlos Davis as well. I left outside linebacker. Actually, yeah, no, this is the best player on the team. He should be a 99. It is, a, it is ridiculous that TJ Watt is not a 99 overall. He's a 96, but there he is, the best defense player in football. TJ Watts on the squad, he's 27 years old. He's gonna be an impact player for the Steelers franchise um, for the next couple of years. Miles Jack, of course, at middle linebacker alongside Devin Bush. We got some names here, but of course it's gonna be Jack and Bush it's, are gonna be the one, two up the middle for the Steelers. At right outside linebacker, Alex Highsmith. And the secondary, it's been better. It's been better with, for the, with the Steelers in the past. You got Witherspoon, you got Levi Wallace at Obama, Cameron Sutton, Justin Lane, James Pierre at FAU. 
it's not incredible. Minka, Fitz, Minka Fitzpatrick, excuse me, is going to be great at free safety for the squad. 89 overall, only coming into his fifth year. He's still 25 years old out of Alabama. And then we've got Casey as well. But I'm really excited for Minka Fitzpatrick on this team. And then at strong safety, we will have Terrell Edmonds alongside Carl Joseph. And then our kicker, Chris Bosbill, he's been here for a while. And then our punter will be the man himself, the second year man at Georgia Tech and Presley Harvin the third. So that is your Steelers lineup. We have our first round pick coming up next year. We have our first round pick the year after. I'm excited for this team. Um, we're going to get into the first game here in just a few moments. We're going to be taking on the AFC champions in our first game in the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going on the road to Cincinnati to take them on. So it might be a tough matchup. Um, we're going to do our cuts in a second here. So I'm not going to play the preseason because I don't want to play the preseason. I want to play the Seahawks, who the Steelers beat in real life. Um, then we got the Jags. We really don't care. We won our first preseason game 12 to 10. Uh, okay, we won 12 to 10. We beat the uh, Jags. We got an injury. Not good. Who is it going to be? Okay, McNichols and Austin are hurt. Okay, who really gives a damn? And then finally, of course, we've got this game against the uh, Lions. We have a training camp standout, though. Let's see who it is. Okay, so Alex Highsmith has had a strong camp. Uh, and then where is he improved the most? We're going to say tackling because we're trying to hype up his tackling with Mike Tomlin. There you go. I mean, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we, oh wow, okay. Alex Highsmith, plus five tackling on our squad now. And then we're gonna get into our cuts because I don't care about this Lions game next week. You have guys like this. Chaz Green's 53 overall, we can cut him. Kevin is a 57, I'll move him to the practice squad. Trent Scott, I'm gonna move. Uh, Christian, we can cut, or actually I'll move him to the practice squad. Cody White, just a lot of these guys who aren't high overalls in Madden really aren't gonna make a difference on our team. Like Chris, again, he's our fourth quarterback on our roster, nothing really much doing there. Donovan, I can move off. Lyndon Stevens, I can release. You know, Connor Hayward, I really don't need a 62 overall. Tuzar is a 62 overall as well. Ulysses Gilbert, the third, 63. Louder Milk isn't bad, but uh, we'll move him to the practice squad. Again, like a lot of these are kind of easy cuts here. Henry, we can cut. Uh, Mark, we can move to the practice squad. We have Marcus Allen. Oh my goodness. You're going to cut him. Arthur Mallett. I uh, was making some money we can get rid of. Miles Killerbrew, I guess we'll move off as well. I want to keep Gunner, actually, just because he was on the Patriots. Um, I don't want to cut Steven Sims, though. Marvin Leal is only 22 years old. I don't want to cut him. Okay, actually, now this is where this gets, this gets tough because we have three cuts to make, and all these guys are pretty solid. Um, they don't want me to cut Nate because I think he's our second right guard. I'll just, whatever. I mean, he's a low overall. We'll cut him. Um, who else do we have? Buddy Johnson, no. They want me to cut John. I mean, I don't want to cut Mason Rudolph because he's actually like might start some games for this team. Um, I'll move Derek to the practice squad and then we'll, I guess we'll get rid of John. Whatever. I mean, I'm fine with doing so. So that will do it for the preseason portion. Uh, and now let's get into the game play of this video. Taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going to, I'm going to go do this off camera and then you'll see the game. I'm going to turn off the face cam and we'll lock in for our gameplay portion of the video. All right, let's do it. Steelers, Bengals from Cincinnati, Ohio. Of course, the Bengals last game was the Super Bowl. They went to Los Angeles, lost to the Los Angeles Rams, but it is a new season. It is a new era in Pittsburgh as well. No longer has Ben Roethlisberger, the starting quarterback of this Pittsburgh squad. After manning the helm for many seasons and after two Super Bowls, the Steelers have officially moved on. Roethlisberger is retired, and now the starting quarterback is Mitchell Trubisky. Now, he is not Ben Roethlisberger's successor. Likely, that will be Kenny Pickett, but for now, we will let Mitchell Trubisky start week one here on the road against the Cincinnati Bengals. It's going to be a tough task for the Steelers considering the, you know, the firepower the Bengals have got on offense. You got guys such as Joe Burrow. You've got their running back in Joe Mixon. You got the elite targets on the outside as well in T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, amongst others. It's going to be a very tough game here for the Steelers against the Zach Taylor-led offense in the Cincinnati Bengals, but it should be a good one. We will see Mitchell Trubisky in action, the MVP, the Nickelodeon MVP, the one, the only, I know Dakota won it last year, but in all of our hearts, Mitchell Trubisky is the first and only Nickelodeon most valuable player, and he's coming back out here tonight. It is going to be his first start as a member of the Steelers. After watching Josh Allen run the Buffalo Bills offense, Trubisky gets a shot here tonight, but first it will be Joe Burrow. Burrow making the start tonight. He's a 91 overall in Madden. The man's a monster. And here you go. The Bengals have got it from their own 24-yard line. Burrow on a first and 10 looking to his right. He has got his tight end. That is going to be Hayden Hurst. 
Gain of five for Cincinnati as it will be a second and five now for the Bengals on a Texas route. Burrow will go to Joe Mixon. And oh my goodness, Mixon's going to truck three Steelers defenders and just shake them all off. Mixon's all the way down to the 48-yard line where it's now a second and 11 for the Bengals. Burrow going to hand it off to Mixon, but it's going to be blown up. Oh, Miles Jack can't make the initial tackle, but it's going to be swallowed up right there by the Steelers defense. Now creating a third and 14 for the Bengals offense. From their own 44, Burrow looking to throw. He's got all day in the pocket, and I mean all day long. The Steelers only 7-3, and Burrow's going to find his man over the middle. It will be John Ross. Ross down to the 38-yard line. It will now cause a third and three here for the Bengals offense from the 31. Burrow looking to throw, but around the edge, T.J. Watt. Watt again disrupt the pass as Evan McPherson will now come out for a 48-yard field goal. And one of the better kickers in the game, McPherson, will nail it. It's 3-0 Bengals as out comes Mitchell Trubisky. The MVP comes out in Madden. He's a 69 overall. Likely this is just a temporary spot for him until Kenny Pickett can take over. But here you go. Trubisky up first on a first and 10. Hands it off to Najee Harris. This offense is going to be really ran through Najee. You can expect that here tonight. But it's now a third and three. And oh, my goodness. Man just completely misses Pat Fryermuth. So yeah, not a great start for the MVP and Mitchell Trubisky. Now Joe Burrow comes back out from zone 36 again. Oh, they got throw. Oh, that ball's picked off. Miles Jack steps in front of the Tyler Boyd route, and Miles Jack has got it for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He'll return it down to the Cincinnati 24, but Miles Jack's got the ball back for Pittsburgh, and here you go. Trubisky gets it from the 24, dropping back as Mitch looking up the middle. All right, his first completion goes to Pat Fryermuth. Firemuth down to the 17-yard line, brings up a third and three. Trubisky dropping back, looking on the slant route. He's got Deontay Johnson. Okay, so Jesse Bates flies out of nowhere. He started that jump when he was in Kentucky. Comes all the way to Cincinnati and picks that football off. The Bengals have got it from the eight-yard line. So the Steelers get nothing in their first trip to the red zone. Here comes Joe Burrow back with the football. He'll dump it off to his tight end. Hayden Hurst going to shake off some tackles. And Hurst going to fight his way down the 20-yard line, giving him a gain of 12 for this Bengals offense. Third and six now for Burrow from his own 24. Joe Burrow looking back. Joe Shiesty over the middle. He has got Ross again over midfield for Cincinnati. They've worked it down to the Pittsburgh 42-yard line. Second and 16 now for Burrow in the offense. He'll drop back. Still looking to throw. He's got all day in the pocket. Burrow going to let one fly. That one is going to be batted down, though. Pass intended for Jamar Chase. Third and 16 now for Cincinnati. Burrow again out the gun. Looking to throw over the middle. He's going to dump it off to Joe Mixon. As long as the Steelers can bring him down, we're good. It's from the 35. They'll now bring out Evan McPherson for a long 52-yarder. McPherson from the middle of the field. That would have been good from 65. Evan McPherson makes it 6 0 for the Bengals, but the Steelers can still take the lead with a touchdown and an extra point. And right there, Najee Harris is going to burst for a gain of 12, and that's a good end of the first quarter for the Steelers, showing signs of improvement going in to the second quarter. All right, so Tomlin putting Trubisky in the empty gun look. It will be a first and 10 from their own 37 yard line over the middle. Najee Harris wide open. You got to take it on the drag route. Harris is going to produce 12 yards on that play. First and 10, play action fake. Mitch dropping back, looking to throw to his right. There is Pat Fryermuth. Frymuth down to the 37. It is now a second and 13 for Pittsburgh. Trubisky's got the ball moving. Rolling to his left. He's got a wide open chase. Claypool, he finds a way to get it to him. Claypool down to the 25. Don't look now, but the Steelers have got it at the 20 yard line. We're in the red zone for a third and five. Mitch to his right to Fryermuth. He's short of the first down. To the 17 yard line, he creates a fourth and three. The Steelers will go for it. Mitch dropping back, looking over the middle. Deontay Johnson. First catch of the franchise. Johnson moves the sticks down to the six. And now Najee Harris on a run. He'll be in there. Najee Harris gonna score a touchdown, the first on the year. And he'll put the Steelers on top seven to six. Chris Boswell will knock down the extra point. And the Steelers are in the lead against the AFC champions here in the second quarter. Burrow gonna let one fly incomplete. So the Bengals go three and out as the Steelers get it right back from their own 48 yard line. Trubisky on a play action fake. He's got nowhere to go. Yeah, the former New Orleans Saint, Trey Hendrickson. You know how much of a force he is around the edge. It creates a third and 19 for Mitch. He'll just dump it off to Najee Harris. Of course, that's going absolutely nowhere. And the Bengals will get the football back. Presley Harvin, the big man, gonna come out to punt. And oh, hold on a second. I believe that's going to be a roughing the kicker on the Bengals. We'll check the call on the field. And there you go. Roughing the kicker on Cincinnati. We're going to get 15 yards in a first down. 
So a costly error by the Bengals gives the Steelers a third and four from their own 44 yard line from the Bengals 44 yard line. And okay, well, Trubisky's not the greatest and we're gonna go for it again on a fourth and four. Oh my goodness, pressure around the edge. Yeah, we're going nowhere. The Bengals turn over the Steelers on downs. They'll get the football back from their own 44. First and 10 for Joe Scheiste looking over the middle. Going to Tyler Boyd. Oh, ball's out. It's knocked out by Pittsburgh. And Miles Jack has got it again. Jack down to the Cincinnati 18-yard line. What a defensive play again for the Steelers. We give our offense the football back from the 11. Third and three for Trubisky. He'll step up in the pocket and he'll run for the first down. He's pushed down, but Trubisky will get it from the eight yard line. It's now a second and goal from the four. Mitch on a play action fake. Look into his right. He's got Fryer. What? How is that ball picked off? The ball literally goes through Fryer Mute's hands and straight into Wilson's. And it's an interception for Cincinnati. So instead of, you know, getting three points, getting six, getting seven, the Steelers get nothing to close out the first half. They're only up by one going into the third. They do get the second half kickoff, but only seven, six for the Steelers. Okay, so the Steelers with the ball first. It'll be a third and 10 from their own 25. Mitch gonna let one fly on the Texas route. He's got Najee, but Harris won't get the first down. He only picks up a gain of eight. We're forced to punt the football at Presley Harvin. No roughing the kicker on this one. So Cincinnati gets it back from their own 27. Burrow dropping back. He's got all day and he will somehow find Tyler Boyd. It will be a first down down to the 42 yard line. Here comes a first and 10. Burrow dropping back, looking to throw the football. Burrow up the middle, wide open on the post route. It's Boyd again. Alex Kappa gets hurt in the play. So the starting right guard for Cincinnati is hurt, but it's still a first down to the 28. Here comes Burrow again, looking to his right, wide open Hayden Hurst. I mean, he just sits down and somehow picks up a gain at 12. I mean, I didn't think he got that much, but now it's a second and five. Mixing on a toss to his right. Edmonds gonna make the tackle, but Mixon will fall forward. I mean, hell, only nine rushes for six yards, but Joe Mixon gonna get the Bengals the first down. Now in a second and goal, Burrow looks to his left. Ball's gonna be caught by Boyd, but he's short of the end zone. So from the two yard line, it's a third and goal. Cincinnati toss to the right, Joe Mixon, and it's blown up. We're all there, Devin Bush, Edmonds, and Miles Jack are all there. And the Bengals are forced to kick their third field goal of the game. Now they're still winning but it's 9-7 and the Steelers defense have kept them out of the end zone multiple times in this game. So we get the ball back from around 39, third and seven. Oh, Mitch got nowhere to go. Oh, he thinks he's Patrick Mahomes. Oh no, Trey Hendrickson's got a touchdown. Oh, that's not, is that Trey Hendrickson? Uh, it's not, it's Sam Hubbard. Oh my goodness. I mean, Mitch, I mean, he was like, oh, I'm in the same draft class as Mahomes and Watson. I'm gonna dance and no, it doesn't, doesn't work like that, Mitch. Oh my goodness. And we get the ball back and we're gonna go three and out. Yeah, great. I mean, fourth and two, hey, why not let it fly? I mean, we're down by nine. Here comes Mitch, the MVP, oh yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh my goodness, this is, this is gonna be a long franchise. <laughs> as long as Mitch is the quarterback, which is fine. It's not gonna be for long, it's Hayden Hurst on the corner out. Has got big yardage for Cincinnati, down to the seven yard line. It's a first and goal for the Bengals. 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Joe Burrow looking to his left. There is gonna be the backup tight end. It's not Hayden Hurst, it's Drew Sample. Okay, so we're down by 15. Now, if they kick the extra point here, it's only still a two possession game. No, they're gonna go for it. All right, let's get a stop here. Burrow, handoff, Joe Mixon. We are, oh my goodness, get off of Miles Jack. Oh my God. Joe Mixon stiff-armed him back into, back to Pittsburgh. Oh, we're down by 17 going to the fourth. Just wonderful. All right, well, okay, we're still not out of it. It's a 17-point game. I mean, I've seen crazier things, but I mean, I don't think those comebacks were led by Mitch Trubisky and Pat Frymuth. We gotta catch that football. We're gonna go for it in fourth and three. I mean, you might as well, right? So Mitch dropping back, looking to throw the ball. Frymuth, okay, holds on this time. Pat Frymuth down the 36-yard line, extends the drive, third and eight for Pittsburgh. Chase Claypool to the right. Oh, goodness. Mitch misses him, so a fourth and eight. Here comes Trubisky yet again over the top and incomplete. I mean, we're playing for pride at this point, but I don't know what pride is still there. First and 10, Bengals get the ball back. Joe Mixon, oh, Mika Fitzpatrick decides, yeah, I don't want to tackle anybody right now. 31-7 for the Bengals. This is, a, this is a game that was once seven to six, but the Bengals have scored 25 unanswered. If my math is correct, it is. I mean, my God, it's not going well, but look at this. You want a bright spot, there you have it. Trubisky with the deep shot to Deontay Johnson down the 21 yard line. The Steelers were playing for fantasy points and we're just helping out the Bengals defense in fantasy. Trey Hendrickson, four sacks in the game. He's been killing the Steelers around the edge. It will be a third and 21 now for Mitch. Ball hit our left guard, our right guard. We're gonna kick the field goal just because 
I think 10-31 looks a whole lot better than 31 to 7, and we're not going for it in a fourth and 21, and that's gonna do it here from Cincinnati. I mean, oh my goodness. Okay, now we expected this game to kind of go like this. Okay, the Bengals are a good team. They're the reigning AFC North champions. They won the AFC. They were close to winning the Super Bowl last year. It's a solid team they've built, and going on the road to this Bengals squad is it's not an easy task at all. And you knew that's, you know, that was gonna kind of be what we were, were tasked in this game. Because again, you got a quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky, who's a 69 overall, who has not started a game since what, the wild card round two years ago against the Saints in New Orleans? And he wasn't that good that season. So, you know, I'll give Mitch another shot. Like next week against the Patriots at home might be his final shot. Because again, we are waiting for Kenny Pickett and this is going to be Kenny Pickett's team. It's just a matter of if and when, not even, not even a matter of if, it's just a matter of when Kenny Pickett will take over the squad. Mitch with only 175 passing yards tonight. Again, he will get his final shot. If he wins against the Patriots next week, maybe we keep him around for yet another week, but it's all gonna come down to the game next week or tomorrow, because we got daily uploads with the Steelers franchise. So we'll be back tomorrow again at Patriots and Steelers, the home opener from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So folks, thank y'all for watching the first episode of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. If you haven't that yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for some more here on the channel. We'll have more Madden content coming out soon. Make sure you hit that like button too. If you did enjoy the video, give a thumbs up for watching. Uh, Mamba, forever.